Hello everyone, welcome to Lush and Salty Aquariums. Okay, well obviously we're looking uh, at a medium close-up of my mixed reef tank. Uh, let's just step back. You've seen this before, 125 gallons, um, lots of soft coral, lots of fish, big, fat, and happy fish. Tonight I wanted to focus on an invertebrate, this black spine sea urchin. Um, I've had him for years, and when I got him, he was among the first specimens put into this tank when it was set up. And at that time, uh, he or she was the size of a golf ball, very small. Uh, but it survived. It survived when we moved the entire tank. Um, and it survived through various other issues that have occurred in this tank. Um, it's durable. And it's the only creature in this tank. Um, well, I'll, I'll get back to that. I was going to say the only creature that has never caused, that has caused me bodily harm. Um, those spines uh, are really, really painful. And when I'm working in the tank, those of you know my um, slogan is always keep your hands in the tank. Well, if you've got your hands, well, look at that guy, boom! That's my monster sailfin tang, I call him bull. Hey, buddy. All right, well, anyway, when you got your hands in the tank and if you're not paying attention, you might rub up against something like this guy. And what happens is even a slight touch will release uh, the very end of any one of those spines into your flesh. And like a splinter, it goes in um, super easily and it's super painful and there is a toxin um, and it's quite bothersome. And you, you got to get the little piece of black out. Thankfully, it's easy to see. And then um, the usual ice cubes, etc. And hope uh, for the best. I've been uh, hit by this guy at least five times in five years, give or take. And uh, I still love him, though, because he's endured. Uh, early on, he used to knock stuff over as he moved about the aquarium, but now uh, these corals are big and they're firmly attached to live rock and I haven't had that uh, occur whatsoever and I haven't had him cause any problems to any of the other livestock in this tank. Uh, I believe the mouth and anus of these invertebrates are in the same place. You see that red spot? Um, there, I, uh, that is what I'm talking about, that orifice in the center. Um, it will excrete waste and take in food from that. I might be wrong, but I don't think so. Otherwise, this creature moves about slowly more at night along all surfaces of the tank, easily climbing glass uh, or any other surface, live rock, sand, and scavenging uh, for any number of things. It's an omnivore. In any event, um, I think it's a wonderful addition to this tank from an aesthetic, the, the, the jet black color, the spines completely different from everything else in, in this aquarium, if not any other. And just a beautiful, unusual and interesting fish. Everybody, when they see it, uh, loves to uh, focus on it. So it's definitely uh, an attraction and it has been for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little look at my tank and the black spined sea urchin. Always keep your hands in the tank, but be careful when you do. Ciao for now.